Hola a todos. No, es ¿Qué? 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 Oh, no. Ok. Hola a todos. ¿Cómo están? Si aún no me conocen, soy Kyle. Y... Uh, Ingrid. <coughs> Hola mis amigos, ¿cómo están? Espero que estén súper bien. <laughs> Soy Kyle y aquí en mi canal mi misión es traerles inglés real y comprensible para ayudarles a mejorar su inglés. Y aquí conmigo hoy tengo una invitada especial. Ingrid. Ingrid. Ingrid es de Colombia y vamos a hablar de unas de las diferencias entre like cultural differences mm -hmm. okay diferencias culturales entre United States and like uh, no quiero decir Colombia exactamente pero como uh, Latinoamérica algunos países de Latinoamérica okay y vamos a hablar en inglés si ella necesita un poco de ayuda voy a ayudarla porque ella, como ustedes, está mejorando cada día su inglés. ¿Ok? Empecemos. Ok, Ini, today you and I we're going to talk about some of the differences, the cultural differences in between the United States and Colombia, but also Latin America in general. Yeah. Okay? So, uh, why don't you tell me the first first difference that you want to talk about? Okay, so the first difference is, um, oh, that's so interesting, like, how you can uh, found stores, like so many stores close to your house in Colombia and Mexico and in other countries. Um, but here is so different. But I want to tell you how it's like in my country. And I'm sure you know. <laughs> so you can just walk to the store and say, Oh, I need just two eggs. And uh, can I have please milk? And uh, I don't know, like just a couple of things. And that's it. But here, if you need something, what do you have to do? So here, if you want to buy eggs, you have to buy 12 of them, uh -huh. first of all. And we don't have stores real close to the house like if i want to go buy food i cannot walk to the store i have to drive because it's far away um, there's a lot of stores but they're all far away you have to drive to all of them because they are not close and also it's like a big store so we have big stores and we can drive to but you can have uh we say barrios it's like a park for every like uh, I don't know every part in your city, so you can find like five stores so close, and it's like a liar store, you know. Mm -hmm. So we have both, but we can walk to the other ones. I will tell you for sure uh, that there is no store anywhere near me where I can go and buy two eggs. No way. Ah uh, no. So you have to think about, oh, when I need this, like this week, and mm -hmm. just buy everything. So, okay, so the next one, and it's so interesting too, uh, and I'm sure you hear about this too, and it's uh, how we, um, how is the education with the kids? So here, Kyle is going to explain, but I want to say how it's in Colombia and in other countries like Colombia. Um, so the parents are more like straight with the kids and if you don't if you do something wrong they are going to smack you and <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah i mean the parents are more like a, i don't know the word like um no bravos you know come on so we would say like lenient lenient means they'll let their kids do more things yeah, I mean, we are not like, oh, I'm sorry, and you know, they are more like, mm, I told you, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, yeah, how is here for you, and you are at that, so you, you can say. Okay, so, um, 
A lot of people maybe think that I'm a little bit more strict on my son than other parents. Yeah. She, she could see if my son does something that I think is wrong, I will tell him, don't do that. Stop. You know better. Don't do it. But, uh, and sometimes it hurts his feelings and he, he'll cry, but I tell him, it is my job to teach you the right way to act, to how to be a good person. But, sadly, uh, there's a lot of people here in the U.S. who do not teach their kids right and wrong. And they let their kids run around in the store and scream, ah, scream, and uh, talk really loud in, in a church or in a restaurant. And, uh, and sometimes there's even kids that yell at their parents. Yeah. Shut up, Mom. I hate you. Blah, blah, blah. And the parents don't do anything. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah. that's my me, Matt. <laughs> if, if my son says something bad, all I have to do is look at him. <laughs> I give him a look like this, and he knows he, he did wrong. Yeah. But, yeah. But for me, that's weird because here, here, everybody is like, okay, okay, you can do whatever you want, you know? But yeah, <coughs> so good job. <laughs> okay, so, um, let's say that is, um, so how we, like, how we are with our friends or like, when you are like together or you are for a long time, I know. Cuando vuelves a ver a tus amigos so or when you conocido. when you see somebody who you haven't seen in a while. Yeah, while you're, yeah. Um, so we always is, we hug and we uh, kiss in the cheek <laughs> or things like that. Um, so like more closer, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so okay, for so me here, that's too different too. It is very different. Uh -huh. So you. Whenever you see your family or friends in Colombia or Latin America, you can kiss on the cheek. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> here, it's not like that. Sometimes I'll give my grandma, mi abuela, a hug and kiss her on the cheek. Uh, but that's about it. When you, if you're a man, I don't know how men greet each other, but it, men here either shake hands yeah. like this or sometimes this and you <laughs> give each other a hug like that. Yeah. But. Uh, you know, uh, if I see a, a woman that I know, I'm not going to kiss her on the cheek. Mm -hmm. I, we don't even, usually men won't even touch women when they say hi. No. It's just, oh, hey, nice to see you. Yeah. Um, but if you see a man who you know, you know, you'll shake hands like that. Or sometimes if, when I see my brother, we do this. Yes. Okay. Stuff like that. But uh, yeah, we don't, we don't greet each other the same, like even close families. Like, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Even between like family is mm -hmm. so different. They never are like, oh bye, see you tomorrow or see you, you know, they're just like, um, nice to see you again. Bye. See you later. And that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <I> just it. <laughs> yeah. So I just like, what do you all? Yeah. I'm glossy. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. I was like, oh, it's very, what's going very on? Different, yeah. <laughs> they are mad. <laughs> I imagine it's gonna be very different one day when if I go to a different country and see it, it's gonna be weird for me. Yeah, te vas a sentir como oh, quieren tocarme. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay, so next one is so <clears throat> the next one is how is the customs in in my country? Uh, it's like always the woman is who cook in the house, who make the food. So, who clean is just a woman. I mean, I am sure there is a lot of men who her, um, the wife or his, their wives, their wives. Um, but I am sure it's just it's more, you know, just a couple. <laughs> so what I mean is more, more, more women is who clean and who make the food. Okay. So that's normal for us. It's like, oh, that's fine. Even when they work too, when mm -hmm. the wife or is working too, she is always like more, oh, I have to do this, I have to do this. But here, it's different because 
Well, here there's a lot of men who like to cook. For example, I cook every single day. I cook. <laughs> I make food when Eni's with me. I make food for us. I make food for myself and my son every day. For me, it's a little bit different because I live alone in my house. Just me and my son, we live together. So I have to cook. I have to cook. I have to clean. Yeah. Uh, but even if I did have a wife, I would still want to cook because I love cooking. I love to eat my food that I make and I enjoy cooking um, and I think that that's more common here a lot of men here like to cook on the grill uh, this is a grill people like to cook on the grill Shh, like uh, men like to do that outside that's a man way to cook uh, a lot of men like to cook on the grill and uh, I think I think it's more normal here for men to help their wives too at home yeah uh, I think it's absolutely <laughs> they uh, here is like I think the ones they cook just like some they, women do not cook. Different, like here is different. No, como dices? Es lo contrario. The opposite. The opposite. Mm -hmm. Like in Colombia. <laughs> the next one is um um oh so the food, but I know. Everybody hear about the food in the United States is so different. I know you know that, but so what I want to talk about is how is like so important dinner here, and how is so important for us breakfast and lunch for us. And you can eat maybe just something small for dinner in Colombia, and that's fine. Um, sometimes the people is I don't want to eat today. I don't want to have dinner today, and it's fine. Um, but my bread pots, my lunch have to be good, you know, like rice, beans, with meat, of course, um, but here they don't care. It's, oh, it's 11, it's fine, we can have a sandwich, and they don't eat anything for bread pots. So, and then, how is the dinner? <laughs> <laughs> when they're going to sleep. But they, they like to eat like kind of early, so it's fine, like 5 o'clock or mm -hmm. 5, 3. Um. Yeah, so for me, I don't care about breakfast. I never eat breakfast. I usually oh, eat yeah. it <laughs> at noon. <laughs> I'll eat at noon and then I'll eat again at maybe 7 or 8 at night. But for me, I like a big dinner, a big piece of meat and maybe a little bit of vegetables or oh, something, yeah. but she wants... Bunch of rice, bunch of vegetables. I'm a rice always. <laughs> yeah. So another thing is, uh, so for, for breakfast here, a lot of people eat really bad food. They'll just eat cereal oh, yeah. or pancakes with a bunch of sugar and syrup. And yeah. that's what the kids eat here. And it's not healthy. It's not good. Yeah. Uh, so sometimes I'll get my kid to eat eggs and I'm happy because it's healthy. But a lot of kids just want cereal with a bunch of sugar in it, and uh, that's not a good way to start your day. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, this is hard for me to... Oh, a sandwich for lunch. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I want rice and chicken and beef. Okay, wherever. <laughs> that's life here. So, so yeah. So, the next one is the way like dressing when you are going to the market when you are going to the store when you are going to drive your kids to the school when you are going to pick up your, your kids i'm sorry for my english um, no, no, she's good. <laughs> um thank you uh, okay so in colombia i'm talking about more like colombia um so we are like always oh i have to like dress nice not like shorts or just come on this is yeah shorts a lot of people wear pajamas yeah 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 so the store just go shopping flip flops mm -hmm. chunkless chunkless um so we are yeah so here they are like whatever whatever <laughs> me acabo de levantar voy a sing so that's a big difference too um but now I'm like, okay, I am fine. <laughs> I can go like this. So it's more easy, your life. Trust me. Trust 
pictures of me. Yeah, I, I wear like uh, athletic pants and t-shirts everywhere I go. If I go to the doctor, you know, I'm probably wearing oh, yeah, that's another like, sweatpants one. and stuff. But when uh, you go to the doctor, yeah. yeah. One day I have for first time I really have to go to the doctor and I get the jeans and you know like a nice clothes and um, so somebody asked me like where are you going and I was like to the doctor you are going to the doctor like this <laughs> <laughs> like yeah <laughs> it's not like that date <laughs> yeah we we don't care yeah and i was like uh now i think about the fears and i'm like okay i'm fine i don't have to change my clothes so it's more like easy yeah for sure oh this one is so good so the way of like saying things to the to and like to talk with another people yeah um like if kyle have to tell me something He's going to turn me when he have to turn me. But if I have to turn him something, <laughs> I'm going to be around, around. Um, I don't know how to say it. And I'm just like, oh Dime! <laughs> He's like this, Dime? <laughs> and I'm just thinking about how can I say that? And they, they don't think about it. They just say where they have to say. Um, so I just are muy directos. <laughs> but we are like around and around and around for say something. Uh, mm -hmm. But that's a good thing. That's, I, I like that. Um, pero son fríos y directos. <laughs> yeah, she said uh, that I used to be muy seco. Oh, yeah. He pensó que, wow, que insulto. <laughs> <laughs> like a rock. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's true. I, I don't know if it's just a language thing. If it's just that's how English speakers are. And maybe in Britain and Ireland and Australia and everywhere where people speak English. Um, or if it's just culture of here in the U.S. But if we have something to say, you know, we, we say it and... Don't don't dance around it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Just be, mm -hmm. you know, on it. Yeah. I like that. So yeah, I mean, that's um, like a couple of differences because I'm sure there's so many. Um, so yeah, what do you think? <laughs> I think it's interesting, and uh, I can't wait to go to Colombia one day and see for myself how it is there. And other parts of Latin America as well, but uh, there's certainly big differences. The the one big difference that I saw in Puerto Rico, uh, which is technically part of the United States, but it's definitely a Latino area. Yeah. Uh, was the driving, the way the roads were. Uh huh. In Puerto Rico, they are not when they're driving. They are not going to stop for you. You just have to go. You gotta go because they're gonna keep going. There's no rules, no hay reglas for yeah. por la calle in Puerto Rico. Yeah. I don't. Is it like that in Colombia yeah, too? Yeah, 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 yeah. When I come here the first time, I was just walking the street. I was like, oh, they have to go first than me, and they was like, yeah, go, go. Let you and go. I, I start like I was just like this, and they continue like, please go. <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay, please don't hit me. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a big difference, too. Okay, so interesting. Uh, I like talking about these things and learning about how they are in other parts of the world. Maybe uh, one day when we go on our next trip somewhere, we'll, we'll learn some more differences, cultural differences, and be able to talk some more about that. But uh, I think it was an interesting topic. Yeah. I hope that you guys got to hear some good English, practice uh, your listening, maybe you learned something new about the U.S. or maybe Colombia. If you are not from Colombia, you're from a different part of the Latino uh, world. So, uh, como siempre mis amigos, muchas gracias por ver. Nos vemos. But I want to say something before <laughs> <laughs> you finish your video, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, pero now you have to do the nos vemos. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Okay. So if you have idea for something you want to 
learn in English, just talk higher because sometimes you are like you can think about a couple of things, but maybe somebody is oh I would love to learn about this or wherever it is um as you solo o sea el abecedario oh quiero aprender como decir el abecedario como algo tan simple pero don't worry he's going to teach you so <laughs> it's fine sí dímelo abajo si tienen ideas uh, de cosas que quieran aprender del mundo a uh, anglo hablante o de los Estados Unidos o de cualquier cosa y voy a hacer videos sobre uh, las ideas que tienen con mucho gusto así que solo dime y podemos hacerlos. So thank you for watch tire videos and see you soon. <laughs> Animo chica. <laughs> thank you for watch tires videos and see you soon guys. So you must have